Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Tom Jensen. My guest this week is Greg Freeman. Greg is the Game and Fish Department's news editor. He's also the administrator for the legislative page, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, Greg, the page should actually answer a lot of questions that people have about uh, the session and their lawmakers and things. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been doing this for well over 20 years now and this is actually my 10th session for tracking bills and um, people can go right into our website and once you get into our website there will be a link on there for the state legislative page and there you can find all the information that you would need to get someone through the legislative session. So you make it a lot easier to, to follow bills. You actually explain what the bills are apart. Sometimes they're written in oh, yeah. legalese, if you want to call it that. Uh, yeah, that's such. exactly right. What we do is the session will start Tuesday, January 6th, and there will be a, um, a slider right on our home page, and you click on the slider. That's going to get you right into our web page, um, and that's going to talk about legislation. And sometimes what, you know, what we end up doing is we go through every bill that comes in during the session. The bills come in during the first three weeks until the deadline to submit bills, and sometimes they're bills that are 40 pages long. And what we do is we try to simplify that and let the sportsmen and women know what the bill is about in a matter of maybe two, three sentences and try to break it down so it's easily uh, understandable. So it's basically any bill that might affect the right. North Dakota outdoors for Absolutely. outdoors men What and I women do is I go through and I look at every bill and anything that's going to relate to game and fish. And there are some that may not seem like they would have an effect on, right. on outdoors people. Oh, absolutely. They do. Yeah, yeah. They're, you have to go through every specific bill um, basically with a fine tooth comb because like you say, sometimes there's a hidden you know, little piece in there where you're gonna have to talk about and get it out there for the sportsmen and women because it could be ta um, pertaining to hunters, anglers, conservation, game and fish. Somehow it's gonna be related to the outdoorsman when it's on our webpage. Give me an example of such a bill. Um, one bill that we went through, um, you know, a popular bill last session was the, the fishing, the hunting and fishing license fee increase bill. Sure. So when you look at that bill, it, it amounts to about 35 pages long. Um, there's so many different aspects of that bill. What I do is I take the bill in the most important pieces of that and I'll put it on the web page. Um, and break it down so it's easy because people aren't going to want to spend you know their time going through 35 pages of legislation of to try to figure time. it out. That's exactly <laughs> right. So we try to make it easy for them and, and put it on the website um, so they can get the most important points. We've been telling people for a long time that if they have issues with a particular bill or something they need to get a hold of their legislator and this is a way that they can we have links on there that absolutely and um, what you want to do is go, when you get into our web page um, there's a link there for the state legislator page you click on that link and that's going to give you the contact information for every senator and representative in the state it's going to break it down by district it's going to give you their phone number it's going to give you their email ad address and what i've found through the sessions of following these um, bills is the easiest way to get a hold of a legislator is by dropping them an email um, because they're going to have that laptop right at their desk during the session when they're on the floor you know and if an email pops up they'll get it right there and then they can respond to you when they have time. They can actually read it at their leisure too Absolutely. instead of having to answer that Absolutely. phone. And the or good or thing that's you know started a couple years ago with the session is people can view it right from their website or right from their computer. Um, you know, they're going to have a video file right there for them. They're going to have the audio file. They can see the floor votes um, as they're being heard right there on the floor, as they're being debated. They can watch it, watch it and see how their legislator, legislature votes. The Game and Fish's website or, or web address, of course, is gf.nd.gov. Where do they go from there? What they want to do is right when they go onto our homepage, there's going to be a slider right at the top of the page. They click on that. That's going to get you right into our legislative page. So it can't get any easier to find it. And once you get into our legislative page, right on the top of that page, there's a link to the state legislative site. And that'll give you all the information um, that you want to get about all your representatives and senators and bills and floor votes and all the information is available right there. And you update this uh, whenever 
there's action on a bill, yep. if a bill changes, yep. if there's testimony on a Absolutely. bill, we or watch even that. if they're in committee. Yeah, right? we watch that bill daily, and anytime there's anything that changes on it, we update it on the website. And, and the, the good thing about our legislative page this year, uh, you know, I think it's ex really well done. Um, now you can filter by hearing date, and that's what a lot of people want to know. They don't want to have to sift through each individual bill we have on there. They can click at the top of the page, click on um, to bring it up by hearing date, and that's going to bring those bills that are up for that week. And you mentioned uh, the day the session starts, the 6th of January, and it runs through the end of the session. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that going until, you know, until they leave, and then it's going to be up on our website, um, and we'll have it archived for years. So anytime they want to find information out, they certainly can. Greg, thanks. You're welcome. Here is a list of the tentative opening dates for hunting seasons in North Dakota in 2015. And I say tentative because the dates are never finalized until the proclamation is actually signed by the governor. Spring turkey is the first to open in mid-April. Deer and pronghorn bow seasons and mountain lion open in early September. Then grouse season in mid-September and early resident waterfowl later in the month. October will see the start of the pronghorn gun season, plus pheasant and fall turkey. Then, of course, deer firearm seasons are set in early November this year. For Greg Freeman and the rest of the staff here at North Dakota Game and Fish, thanks for joining us for Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.